this challenge was given to me in a comment on the previous video. I'll, I'll just put it up on screen. Uh, the comment reads, idea, make a button where when you press it, it summons a dice around two by two by two. And if you press it while a dice exists, it deletes the old one. So here it is here, here's the button. Um, if you're wondering what this is, this is just a container to keep the dice contained. Uh, so it doesn't fling out. But yeah, here, if I press this button, it spawns a dice. It spawns the dice at a set position in the air, and it spawns it at a random orientation so that, you know, we get more, we get no, more randomness, you know, like an actual dice. Um, then when you click it again, it deletes the dice. Or rather, it doesn't actually delete it, but it changes its parent. So that, it changes its parent to replicated source so you can't see it. But, yeah, so when I click this, it spawns a dice. You can get a little dice roll. Okay, we rolled a four. Okay, I don't want this dice anymore. Now I, now I click it, and it's gone. And yeah, oh yeah, shout out to, shout out to my, my buddy, my buddy Scott. Um, I was having a little trouble with my code, and then, and then he made me remember um, that you could put else in an if statement, and that uh, made, made, the, made the code a lot shorter. So yeah, thank you, Scott. That's sort of it. See you in the next one.